In this tutorial, we'll look at a more traditional approach to positioning objects on your page by using rulers and fixed ruler guides. In PagePlus, the rulers around your page are basically a digital version of the Paste Up Artist T Square. Although the rulers are extremely useful as a measuring tool, they can also help you align objects. By default, the ruler's measurement unit is centimetres, but this is really easy to change. Simply right click the point where the rulers intersect and then choose your preferred measurement unit from the list. OK, let's draw an object on the page. In this example, I'm going to use a standard text frame, which you can select from the Tools toolbar on the left. I'll fill the text frame with placeholder text by clicking F5. This will help us when aligning objects on the page. Notice how the rulers show frame dimensions when I move this text frame around the page. In this instance, the rulers are acting as a measuring tool. If I just move my cursor around the page, independently of any objects, you can see a small line appear on each ruler to indicate the cursor position. At the moment, Clean Design is switched on, and we can see this on the standard toolbar where the button is highlighted. This means that the page margins and guides are not currently displayed. You can set up horizontal and vertical ruler guides in PagePlus to help with the precise alignment of layout elements on your page. The simplest way to create ruler guides is to click onto the ruler and hold down your mouse button. Then, drag onto your page. A ruler guide will appear parallel to the ruler. The hint line at the bottom of the workspace will display the exact position of the ruler guide as you move it across the page. This is useful for accurate guide placement. When you are happy with the position of the guide, release your mouse button. If I move my cursor away from the guide, you'll see that it has disappeared. Don't worry though, the guides will show whenever you hover over them or move an object towards them. As I mentioned earlier, Clean Design is currently switched on, and all of the margins and ruler guides on the page are temporarily hidden. To switch Clean Design off, I'll click the button on the standard toolbar. The page margins and ruler guide have appeared on the page. Ruler guides are non-printable, so you can add as many as you like and not worry about them appearing on your finished publication. Now I'd like to add a horizontal ruler guide to the page, which is precisely positioned via the Ruler Guide dialog. You can access this dialog by clicking Ruler Guides on the Page Context toolbar. There are separate sections for horizontal and vertical ruler guides. To add a guide, simply type the on-page position where you want the guide to go, and then click Add. When you click OK, you'll see the guide appears on your page at the specified location. To remove a ruler guide, simply click it and then drag towards the ruler where it came from. Before we finish, I'll show you how easy it is to set up a ruler guide pattern. This is really helpful if you want to create equally spaced ruler guides. We'll do this in the ruler guide dialog, but first I'll delete this text frame. The key is to add several ruler guides at the same intervals. Like we did before, I'll type the position where I want the guide into the box and then click Add. I'll continue to do this until we have five horizontal guides, all positioned exactly a centimetre apart. I'll do the same with the vertical guides. When you're happy, click OK. The guides have appeared on the page, and you can see that our grid is taking shape. To add or change guides, you can return to the Ruler Guide dialog at any time. Don't be put off by having lots of guides on your page. They are really useful, and will help you create a great looking page layout. To find out more about PagePlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.